Hi, this is Justin from Ajar Productions. I just got back from Creative Pro Week, and wow, what an eventful week. We even figured out things at lunchtime, so I want to share one of those things with you. This came from a discussion that Ron Billado and I were having with an attendee at lunch. The attendee was having a challenge in trying to integrate multiple languages. Specifically, he had Chinese text with English text inside of it and he really needed to call out the English text and style it separately. Ron and I showed him a very simple way to do this that didn't involve programming, and I'm going to share it with you right now. First, I'm going to switch this text frame back to basic paragraph, and you can see that it's all Arial Unicode. Let me escape out of that and apply the highlight English style I've created, and you can see the English text pops right out. Well, I'll show you how to do that from scratch. Select the basic paragraph style to go back to that. I'm going to hold the Alt or Option key and click Create New Style. I want to make sure that's applied to the selection right now, and I'll just call this Working Style. Now, in the Grep Style section, I'm going to create a new Grep Style. Typically, what you might do is create a, a new paragraph style. I have one created, but let's create a new one so I can show you that from scratch. So this is a Working Style, and in the basic character formats, let's change this to something with serif so it'll stand out. And let's make it bold so it stands out even more. And we'll go to the color. We'll make sure to choose a bright color so it stands out. One more thing in the advanced character formats. I can actually set a language for this so it, it will spell check in English as opposed to the Chinese which we could have on the paragraph style. So I'll click OK. That's applied. And you can see the default grep style applies this to digits. This is just kind of the example that comes up when you create a new grep style. Well, let's start adding to that. So in addition to digits, we want any letter character to show up. So let's go down to wildcards and say any letter. Now you can see this created brackets around that. So I'm just going to delete that bracket and move it so that it includes digits. And now I'll click away from that and you can see it's restyled all of those English characters because those are recognized as letters in the typeface. Now the final style I created is just a little bit more advanced. This just involves adding characters to this. So you can see the percentage sign is not lit up so let's go ahead and add a percentage sign inside our brackets to say that we want that to be included in the list of characters it's searching for. So actually a period at the end of one of these and there are spaces in between so we want to make sure both of those are taken care of. So I also want to create then a group using a parenthesis at the beginning and the end. The plus sign just means find any number of these characters. So inside here, after finding either a letter character, a digit, or a percentage sign, let's look for a period, which I need a forward slash to reference a period, because normally a period is a wildcard character, and a space. And I'll do slash s, because that'll cover multiple different kinds of spaces. And then I'll just wrap those in their own brackets to say find either one of those. And then I'll put an asterisk there to say find zero or more of these. So we're not going to depend on that, but if it's there we want to find it and style it. So I'll click to apply that and you'll see that the period at the end of the word English is now styled as well. That's it. That's all it takes to set up a grep style and you can modify this to fit your own needs. But I wanted to show you just how quickly this can be set up, how powerful. I know it's a little scary to learn the grep. It's kind of unfamiliar, but there are a lot of shortcuts in there, and there's some great tools that I'll link to in the comments. One last thing I wanted to show you, because this came up with another attendee at lunch who was working with Japanese and English. She needed to be able to animate the two languages to show them selectively, maybe make them interactive. So I wanted to show you a script. If you go to Window and Utilities down to the Scripts panel, I have installed a free script from my company, Ajar Productions. It's called Split Text. So I'm just going to double click on this, and it's set up to split by text styling. It can do all kinds of different stuff, uh, but I have it set for text styling. So it's actually going to pick apart those nested grep styles and break them into separate text frames. I'll click OK, and now you can see these are all separate. Now it got a little wonky because these were all broken across multiple lines. But now at least you can work with each one of these individually. 
If you want to see more tips like this, subscribe to the Ajar Productions channel, click the bell to make sure that you get new videos when they're posted, and check out the Creative Pro Week conference. I'm going to put a link to that in the description as well. This is just the kind of stuff we were talking about at lunch, so imagine what you're getting in the actual sessions. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.